Dikla Training and Projects declares war against poverty. We have embarked on a mission to feed the nation and it all begins with a single seed. If we have faith as small as a mustard seed, with it we can move mountains. Planting seeds of good thought, hope and freedom in our people, our children and their children is the first step to a sustainable future. Give them the gift of hope today by easing some of their pain. But give them the gift of freedom forever by teaching them how to do it for themselves. Join us in this movement and let us wage war against poverty. The company was formed in 2008, but we started to be operational here in Princeton in 2013 uh, on just these uh, 12 hectares. That's where we started everything. Everything started here. And what we started in but it was a it was just a vision. Just to debush this whole area took us about four months. And, and fencing, uh, drilling of water, and, and tilling of soil, and making sure that there's at least a soil that is available, a piece of, of, of land where we can work from. We wanted to test whether the, the, the soil or whatever that we are trying to do will respond. And it responded, people. It responded, thank you uh, to those who supported us from 2013 to date. So everything started with one plot of spinach. We wanted to make sure that Saziwa Ngendo Ewa Nangoku, if you come to the farm, there's no season up Fumana is spinach corn. We made sure that spinach dominate and the other vegetables, zingenelele like your beautiful cabbage that you see 
over here. It was just harvested this morning uh, from, from all the fields that you see here. So it was a process, people. It is not easy. So we started selling it and we saw that the market is responding. And we, we decided that let's get the second and the third guy to go to the second plot and to the third plot. Then we moved from spinach to tomatoes. Um, it's a funny story um, where one was traveling uh, over the weekend towards um, Port Alfred. Then on the road we saw damaged tunnels with my wife. And, and, and we stopped and we looked at them and we went to engage the people. And then it, it so happened that the tunnels were sponsored by social development or some organization. Then we discussed with them, we bought that steel, we fixed it, we put it together. It is just here, um, the tunnels that you see at, at, at my back. That was our turning point. Because after we covered them with plastic, we started planting tomatoes. And those tomatoes changed, they were the game changer. Then when we started selling them, everybody was flocking on the farm. We saw that this is a dream coming true. The dream to create world abundance, from dominating crop production to overtaking the market. From this point, Dekla Training and Projects was unstoppable. Um, our vision here is world abundance through farming innovation. So the aim behind the vision was to ensure that we dominate agriculture in all sectors, a 10 key in agriculture. In other words, our focus uh, uh, should be, or it is on, on livestock, it's on vegetables, it's on processing, and access to market because that is the biggest challenge that we have as farmers. You plant something and then you don't have access uh, to market and market is dominated by people from outside. So we came with a clear plan that we want to conquer the region, province, national, the continent, and then go abroad. I must say the power of media has helped us a lot to make sure that we are known. And we grew from strength to strength and the, the shops and the people of Komani started to support us. As it stands now, we supply the entire region, the entire province. Our produce go as far from here, Lusu to Botswana, and, and, and we, we, we are starting in preparations for the coming year to export because our documentation is intact and it's in place. Deep track written shop right. You must always know that it has our spinner. This truck is now all the way from Alwal now to Bagaslaw passing through here. It's taking this spinach now way to PE. So whether we are in PE, whether we are in East London, whether we are in King Lemstown, whether we are in Mtata, Posit John's wherever in South Africa and beyond the borders, Dikla feeds the nation and we will get you coming. Okay, hello guys. Uh, we are here to collect uh, spinach for Freshmark. Uh, we are driving, I'm a, I'm a truck driver actually. Uh, uh, we are here to collect spinach, as I said. Uh, we are taking it uh, to straight to the airport in BE, that is Freshman. We will be distributing to checkers, uh, ShopRite, uh, YouSafe, OK Mini. Uh, that's our customers. In order to keep this well-oiled machine running, Dickler Training and Projects employs vibrant young people with qualifications in various disciplines such as finance, HR, engineering, animal production, crop production, media 
and so much more. Their skill and creativity, coupled with the vision and leadership of Mr. Mandlendorda, continue to push agriculture to the next level. As a result, Dekla Training and Projects continues to push boundaries, excelling in mixed farming, planting different crop on the same soil, breaking the record in animal farming, being the leading training institution, and not to mention offering top-of-the-range tools for agricultural solutions. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, we are here at the farm, Jigla Training and Projects. Uh, we are busy with land preparation. Um, as you could see, the tractor is busy that side. Uh, I'm going to unpack a few things uh, concerning our pepper here. We did plant our pepper and it is responding very well. As you could see, the main stem, it is, very, it is growing very big and it tells you that it's going to produce more pepper, more pepper and more pepper. It is gonna be ready for it is gonna be ready for purchasing in December. Mid-December, come to Dikla Training and Projects. You will receive those beautiful, healthy peppers. We are ready for you. We are ready for you. It is indeed in our fly in, in, in the flowering stage. My name is Hilton Tawando Rizzo. I'm the quality assurance manager here at Dikla Training and Projects. We are basically an organization that deals with primary agriculture. We are farming almost anything that you can think of that can be farmed. We are also doing trainings that vary from agriculture training to your plumbing, your welding, your computers, anything that has to do with training, DICLA is a master of that. Now, my job is not easy because uh, we are a company that is a recognized brand. So I have to make sure now that all the quality aspects of the different departments that we have or the different things that we do here at Dicta Training and Projects are maintained, which is not an easy feat because our esteemed managing director, Mr. L. Madeleine Dota, has set very high standards for us. I, I always tell the people that farming is not a desire but a calling. Farming needs dedicated people, hard-working people that will ensure that um, everything they work towards to is, is, mater is materializing. Within the journey of ABC Travelisha, we knew that everything is possible with God. We always put God first and He will, you will go places if you trust in the Lord. Ask me, trusting in the Lord is the only way for any farmer to succeed. I'm talking about farming because I'm a farmer. I don't know about other businesses, but in farming, you need God. It's God who brings rain. It's God who makes the plants to grow. It's God who opens market for you. In terms of what we do, we always have a routine that we must follow and uh, one of the most important things that we must do is that each and every morning at 6 a.m. we have to do a morning devotion where we give ourselves and we dedicate the day or the proceedings of the day to the Lord. So we are praying, we are praising the Lord and then after that we are going about our daily uh, routines, our daily duties. We've got uh, different departments, we've got the packers that's responsible for packing and distributing all the vegetables. We've got the greenhouse that uh, sorts and prepares the fresh vegetables that cleans them. You've got uh, HR department, you've got the media department. I'm surrounded by cameras and, 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 and lights and, and mics all over the place. That's our media team that's doing their work. Uh, and I'm basically responsible to make sure that all the good that you see that is done by Dikla, all the high quality is maintained through me, the quality assurance manager.
uh, greetings declare viewers ikamalam de mumuno mi CEO kwa zenzile promise me the um, the animal health technician a particular training project I also have a degree in animal science from the University of Hote and uh, works in the Germany she okay the lab of the program of animal health uh, as a technician when we offer the primary health care to Germany and mostly communal farmers like a cool within the district in Kruzani as a civilian who is six animals well and a cruiser. The program then I all started uh, through conversation sustaining with our MT, which is our We were bouncing off the ideas, uh, Simona said with some presentations, all this in order that hinders the most economic farmers will have some production. We came up with one thing, as you know, I've got put the influence of any effect of a cool in my farming. That mostly hinders the cool reproduction yabo, the production rate yabo. So, in the supplement, I agree, it's one of them. Yeah, Puma Ganjan, I mean, yes, I don't know how they improve on the top of my head. Program Lena Game One Man Health is the best she was in the cooperation of Maspala, about six. With the partnership of Snyder with um, the local agency, the OMC HTA, which is the Christian Development Agency, and I've been as HTM. And excellence in way to be offered to Lena Shiro and your vaccination programs. And we do seasonal vaccinations, we do it dosing, we do it deep, and we do the surveys and the trainings to my farmer with regards to the animal health. Most program is the same as the Yoka Kuru, the same as the Sinendo Escalita Yoka Health Program, the same as the Anal Program, the Sin Health Program that is designed by us, a accommodate the Kuru, the weather patterns of the environment, the Alaba Christian District. And excellent in way to see your cool is for and as is the cool is bangle labana ama farm abe na bina we produce the cool boy. All know Chris and it will be cool the production of it. So we go to see that we go to the season of analytics to baba kuazo picture to eleven that is higher than lena baku yoko and baba kuazo in the production rate here we go into the living rate you can rate the kuazo yoka. Immortality rate of cool as is like the sequence we took. Dekla Training and Projects is a 100% black owned institution and is accredited with AgriCeta to give training courses aligned to unit standards as per SACA requirements in the agricultural sector for the employed, unemployed, emerging farmers, youth, women, and people with disabilities. We were supported by universities and TVs who partnered with us right well in 2014 to date we are busy opening our new academy we train students in leadership programs internship programs in service programs we train farmers in short courses in the process everybody was just flocking then we we move from agriculture or from agri sita to other sita such as mic sita etdp sita uh, construction theatre, um, theatre, driving. Then building started to come. Uh, people started to come. And, and, and people outside the province, their minds started engaging us. And we started growing, we started employing more people. Students came. I remember just before COVID, we were having over um, uh, 4,000 students that were here on this very farm. Uh, doing their in-service trainings, others' internship uh, 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 trainings. So we grew from strength to strength right here on the farm. We managed to open our own human resource. People farming without record is no farming. Our own re uh, human resource to, for recording, our own finance, our own marketing. We have now to date pack house warehouses. We even have a radio, a radio station. Where have you seen a farm with a radio station? All started from the vision that we wrote years ago. 
the vision is still unpacking, unrolling, unpacking. Things are happening here, people. They are happening. But let me tell you, farming, again, is not a desire but a calling. You've got to be up early in the morning. What keeps us going is a routine, discipline, military discipline. You've got to maintain those. When I wake up in the morning, 5 o'clock, I'm up. Plants are like human beings. They want you to wake up, do scouting, check insects, check whether they, they slept during the night. In fact, they are eating, digesting during the night. Then you take your team, you show them that they must resonate with your vision so that this thing can work. As you do it, you begin to market it to the market shops, show them this is um, what is happening here. Over here, right at my back, also we, we are Global Gap Accredited. I just missed that certificate now. It is a certificate that ensures that you can supply um, uh, things that are human consumable. You, you, you just don't do farming without uh, following the book, people. When you come to DICLA, everything is to the T, to the book. Um, we have systems, we have, we have bookkeeping, we have, we have every, if we train you, our certificates are accredited, they are record keepings. So we, from there we moved out to farmers. Um, where we implement projects for farmers and, and, and not that implement, uh, of, or implementing of those projects. Also, SIBA mentorship, SIBA coach, SIBA negate access. If Usebenza are not here, for instance, Tina long we live in the world, we are still growing. From there, we are still growing. We are still growing. From there, we are still farming. We are a successful game farming. Sabazi breeders, there's Ngomo. If one can look, there I am uh, at the back there. That is the type of breed and now your Yipon Smara. Start breed and now. So, um, additional to that, Sine Doni Merinos. Additional to that, Sine Angora goats. Sigwana Zonenio, Sibetunana. Farms came. Uh, you know, uh, when you go this way, people were calling you, can you do something here? Can you do something there? It became a passion, people, a passion, something that we fell in love with. But because a Dikla 99% it's youth. Youth people, you can do nothing without them. We 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 branded and we blended them. We worked with them, we showed them how to become successful in life, how to become an entrepreneur, how not to depend on being employed. Here we are at Dikla. We have over 200 employees right on this farm. Esma Patala, Ngezi Zenzayo, Ze Agriculture, Iese Benza, Lento Betunana. Africa, I, we are a force to be recalled. O government, uba and I create a Look no further. Come to us. Come to Dikla. Behind us, it's a, it's our warehouse. Um, it's only those companies of white companies that have something like this, your BKP and OVK. But we decided that um, let us have everything that agriculture needs. Our farmers, they knock at our doors and they say, guys, get these things, we need them from you. So that is why we call ourselves uh, a one-stop shop. These are the pipes that we are um, selling. We are doing a lot of work in the region, in the in the in the province, um, with piping work, with civil, with engineering, everything that you need that is agricultural. The calls, um, those water storm water pipes, uh, etc. Farming is life. That's where everything begins. Um, you have a plate of food in front of you today. Thank a farmer. Um, you have blankets, 
you have everything. Thank you, fam. Right at the back here, this is about um, 60,000 heads of um, cabbages uh, which are ready uh, to be harvested one of these days. Over there, we have cabbages that are already starting to be harvested today. Those cabbages, um, we stagger them in planting because you don't want everything to be ready at the same time. So this, this farm stretches from here to those trees right at the back over there and, and to those flats right, as you can see at the back. So we start, in other words, to allow us the types of fertilizers that we are going to be using, the spraying program that we have, we work out a production, a full production plan uh, for this and that can also be done for you as a farmer or whoever that is uh, interested for, to work with us. This plot as you can see it here it's already been paid. That's what we call offtake agreement. If your quality, your texture, everything is right, anyone will come here and stop and say I'm interested. Kela Game Farm, a home to game various birds, plants, kudus, box, and so on. But not only that, Kela Game Farm provides exceptional African bush safaris and adventures for all tourists. This is just one aspect of what we do at the farm. We also have our animal production experts and expertise, which specialize in handling and farming with bonsmaras, Angara goats and Don Marinos. In this our farm we also provide trainings, in surf trainings to be precise, for all animal production students from all over the world. Those that apply and register with us for these services. We are all things animals, wild and domesticated. World abundance through farming innovations. Determined to feed the nation, this is war against poverty.
when you show courage in the face of adversity, you change your life and others. The most provocative people in the world are the ones who won't settle for average and be successful through adversity. We are most inspired by people who have experienced difficulty and never, ever give up, just like the Engombo farmers. A wise man once said, courage wasn't a matter of taking the whole mountain in a single massive leap. Courage was taking it one step at a time, doing what was necessary now, preparing for the next step, and refusing to worry about whether some step in the future would be the one that would break him. Today, Declare Training and Projects with the Ennoble Farmers are making a great progress because of their dedication and love for agriculture. We are once again training, mentoring, and coaching emerging farmers. We are Declare Training and Projects and we will get you farming. Queenstown Farm in the Eastern Cape, which is 100% black owned, is calling on government to support emerging farmers in attempts to alleviate unemployment in the province. The farm has over 80 permanent workers. It also employs interns and seasonal workers. Established in 2013 on just one plot of land, the farm now boasts 12 hectares. It's accredited with AgriCeta and has signed a memorandum of agreement with major universities to conduct their experiential agricultural training. Situated on the R67 outside Queenstown, the farm is eye-catching and expansive. It is a true success story and a true example of the government prerequisite of Vokuzenzele, loosely translated, to wake up and do it for yourself. Just four years old and this farm is supplying major retailers in and outside the borders of the country. There is no assistance from the government here. We started with one plot and one plot produced another one. So we grew up also on the employment of people. So whatever that you see here comes from what we are doing. There is not a single cent from the government. We are actually looking, challenging the government to come and join hands with us 
as we together we can duplicate what you see here because it is now like a franchise. We can duplicate what you see here in Gauteng, KwaZulu Natal. The trainees are receiving valuable experience. I'll be here for 18 months. I've been here for four months. Now we've been exposed to crop production. We are currently being taught how to prepare land, when to plant and how to plant, how to fertilize and how to maintain your plant. At school, we only did the books, the books, how to keep your books, the accounting. I've done like from the season, starting from land preparation, from planting, uh, to harvesting and pruning, all the maintenance during the process. It's quite a good experience because you get exposed to like the actual practical of uh, the, 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 the plant production. A partnership with government will boost production, create further employment opportunities, empower emerging farmers. I am Atule Joga for SABC News, Queenstown. and welcome to African Farming. Middleburg in the Eastern Cape got its name because it's in the middle. It's a halfway point between Bloemfontein and Port Elizabeth. It's the perfect stopover. It's also a place where you'll find farming brothers Manda and Johnson Mandlendota of Relic Farm. Let's go meet them. and his brother Johnson grew up in the Stad Sprite area where their father did contract work on a number of farms and inspired their passion for agriculture. Mother studied agriculture straight after school while Johnson became a corrections officer only joining the farming operation much later. Over time, the Mandla daughters have built up a large multi-farm operation spanning a number of farming disciplines but despite the size, it's definitely still a family business. Manda and his wife have three children, while Johnson and his wife have two. Their children are all learning about agriculture and the business side of the operation in some way. So succession plans on the Manda daughter farms is well underway. Yo guys, your farming operation is very, very impressive. Wow, thank you. Thank you so much. We try. So, Manda, tell me, how did farming become an important part of your childhood? Well, um, I'm going to mention my father. He actually coached us to be where we are today. He was a farmer himself, and uh, as a child, I made it my hobby to be next to him. Wherever he goes, whatever he did, I was learning from him. Yo, and what about you, Johnson? By telling us that uh, as a man, First, you need to be responsible at that early age, ensuring that you are waking up early to prepare for the day. All right. Now, I want to find out from you, um, Johnson. You guys have multiple farms. There's a farm in Jeffrey's Bay, there's a farm in Queenstown, and then there's this one here in Lindbergh. Tell me about the operations on the different farms. Okay, with, with the different farms, I have with the different operations. The one that we are currently in, specializing in animal production and game. It also has been uh, accommodation that is a PNB. The other one in the church the first buy, my brother is gonna explain more about it and the other part. The first day we specialize in bee farming. The three farms um, are forming one umbrella. Queenstown is the training center. It's also a vegetable farm. It's got a pack house where we we supply um, shops like your pick and pay, your checkers, your spa group. Now from that one, it's also a training center. It has all the universities of South Africa represented there. We train students, and from those students, some of them, they, they end up being permanently employed by us. I love that you talk about training. Uh, Johnson, how important is training and mentorship to you? It is so important because it's something that will last because if you don't train people, 
it means they they will not understand what they are doing. Mm. But if you train them, it, it gives them the insight and the importance of uh, 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 knowing exactly what you you are doing. Also training, it's the sharing of the skills, transforming people, knowing and they need to understand the importance of farming. Two brothers coming together, you're taking over the space, yeah, agriculture, and also your brothers. Enjoy the relationship here. <laughs> <laughs> I think what makes it easy, we grew up uh, together, we went to school together, we were bathing together, eating together. So it's, it's, it's a routine. Uh, we do a lot of research and how best can we help other people to understand that farming is not a desire but a calling. Farming is not a desire but a calling. Mm -hmm. I love that. <laughs> Our father left us with a legacy to say to us, hard work pays and, and maintain what you have and focus on what you are doing. Never give up. Oh, yes. nice. Yes. All right. Well, gents, they say that behind every successful man is a strong and determined woman. So I will leave you guys to continue working while we go and meet those women who have had a hand in making this the way that it is today. Yes, Joseph is a very caring man at heart, because always he's there with the goats. Sometimes when I came back from work, he's not here, he's not at home, he's with the goats. The way he loves the, 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 the animals is the way he loves the people. Working with both of them has taught me a lot with regards to their mentorship and their leadership skills because, as you know, we work closely with them and Mr. Justin here at the farm, so he's a nice person who teaches us a lot with regards to life and with regards to farming skills, he's patient with us as we are students and we didn't have a lot of experience coming in here. And Mr. Madla giving us the opportunity and he likes to work with a lot of young people, giving the young people an opportunity to embrace their careers and also grow them as individuals. There's a saying, power is gained by sharing knowledge, not hoarding it. We salute the Madla and Dota brothers for the knowledge they pass on to others. There's so much to see and learn on this farm, but I want to see what keeps it running smoothly, so don't go anywhere. Zanzi, welcome back to African Farming. Now, this is what I call living the dream. A game farm within a livestock farm. I mean, that really is amazing. But it takes a lot of work to run a game farm, and Opal Manda knows all about that. Let's find out more. Manda, what type of animals do you keep here, and how many? We have around 600 to 1,000 animals around here, and we have you know, zebras, kudus, <laughs> springbok, Blaze box, black spring box, uh, water box, and red box. Well, it's quite a variety. It's a variety, yes. Your farming operation is a mix of tourism and farming. Yes. Now, how has that helped grow the business? It mainly has helped a lot, Lindy, because um, we actually we, we, we diversify. On the other side, we're doing vegetables, and this side, is mixed tourism and game. With game farming, hunting, we only start in May till August, and it's dry a bit. There are some uh, game farms that do hunting throughout the year, but we're still battling to get that license, but we're working towards that. Running a game farm is quite different from running a livestock farm. Now, how do you approach grazing for the animals and also animal health? Well, yes, you are correct. Those are two different uh, um, things. With, with animals, with our livestock, they graze on flat areas. And uh, with your wild animals, they focus mainly on the mountains, on the, on the bushes. It actually helps us because livestock that we have don't graze on the leaves over there. So those wild animals they focus on, on making sure they clear those mountains over there. What about animal health? Animal health, yes. We have a program that we follow uh, with livestock. We know when to vaccinate for all the diseases, um, your yellow fever, uh, ticks, and uh, blue tongue, and so on. 
but with wild animals, that's why they are called wild animals. They don't get affected easily by those things. Ticks, yes, here and there you'll find one of them limping there and there, but not necessarily um, like your, your livestock animals. Yeah. What's been one of the, some of the challenges that you've encountered with running a game farm? And are predators an issue? Predators, yes. Uh, we've got a lot of jackals here. Um, um, they, they experience a lot of problems because they catch them while they're lambing, they catch them while they're sleeping. Some of them they don't have sharp eyesight during the night, so yeah, they, 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 they battle, it's a, it's a battle of the wild. <laughs> it's a battle of the wild. Yeah. <laughs> yes. What's a good size to run a successful and profitable game farm? I would say from 3,000 hectares to anything 6,000 to 7,000. We have a 7,000 hectare farm, which is divided. We know that grazing is about 3,000, another 3,000 is irrigation, the 1,000 is for game farming. You have so many animals, Manda, and on top of that, the land is huge. Now, how do you keep record of everything? Um, myself and my brother, we're working together in this and uh, to make it a success. We've got systems in place. We've got um, accounting officers. We've got bookkeepers on the farm. If this guy is managing goats, focuses on goats. This one manages sheep, he focuses on sheep, and so on. What is your long-term strategy and goals for the skin farm? I want to focus more on bringing tourists over here. One of the things we want to add is uh, mountain bikes, quad bikes. Additional to the game that we have, we want to add species like your giraffes, your velopiers, and um, possible rhinos. Um, but we are a bit skeptical on that because of the poaching that is happening around them. But yes, also just to, 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 to get it running throughout the year, but you, we, need, we, we are in the process of applying for that because for now we are limited. Mm, I can't wait to come back and experience all of that side. <laughs> Thank you so wow, much. Zanzi, this is just amazing. I am so in love with all of this wildlife and there's still so much more to see. But Manda, can we continue to explore? Yes, of course. Let's continue. Masan. Yo, yo. I have heard so much. I have literally waited all day to come into this game viewing vehicle. I'm a city slicker, remember? So this is not something I do often. Unfortunately, I can't ride on this forever. There's still lots to see and lots to do before my visit ends. You don't realize how big this farm actually is until you have to move from one side to the other. But I've never seen an Angora goat with my own eyes. So today is my chance. Let's go check it out. Johnson, I want to start off by clarifying this. What is the difference between these types of goats that you have, which is the Angora, and the normal ones that we're used to? The difference is that uh, this one is a more hair coat and the, and the other one, which is the boar coat, is for meat. Oh, okay, that makes sense. And more hair fetches good prices, meaning that you need to take very good care of your Angora goats. Now, what does that entail for you? It just means when you are having them, you must take care of them. They need to have a right place where they can graze. And in terms of the nutrition, you need to look after them. Therefore, if you do that, they, they give you the best out of them. And that's how you keep them in good health as well? Yes. All right. I, this yes. farming life is not easy. Now tell me, what is the Mohe Empowerment Fund? It is a trust that is aiming to help other farmers. We're just so grateful that we had the opportunity. What they do, they give you the goats and then they take 25% of your sharing. Then you have a contract of five years with them. After five years, then the goats will become yours. Now tell me about the process of sharing. An Angora goat is meant only for the mohe. Whenever you have the Angora, you need to know you are using it only for getting the mohe. You're sharing each and every six months you must share. Whether the size is it's 
it's long or medium, but it must not be short. But we are making sure within that six months, you meet at least the standard of from 25 to 75 millimeters, at least it is acceptable. Mm. And you also have sheep here, so you must make sure that you don't ever mix the wool with the more hair. Yes, it is important because you'll find there is something that they call camp. You can identify it even on the, sh on, on, on the coat, but it is important before you share, you clean your sharing shirt and show that there is no wool because these two must not come together because they contaminate the product. After sorting, you share, you sort, you put your mohair in the clips, you package them according to the, the size of the hair. Then you send it for auction. Since we have said we are the producers, we are more hair responsible standard certified. At Dekla Training and Projects, there are no limits to our reach. We assist farmers in co-ops as well as private companies through our coaching and mentorship programs. We have produced thousands of students and we have the capacity to help government institutions meet their objectives. We can help you too, whether you are local or international. We are your agricultural specialists and we will get you farming.